Hello, fourth grade. We're going to be working with Scratch this week. And I want you to sign in when you're in Scratch. And I'm in a different account than you. Your account is going to be 21, your first name and your last name. So make sure you sign in. And if you go to the arrow here and you go to My Stuff, you could see your project from last week and any other things you do. So this week we're going to do a car parking game. So you're going to go over here and you write car parking. Okay. And when you want to save your work, you go File and you do Save Now. So the first thing you got to do is you got to delete the cat because we're not going to use the cat. We're going to use a car. So we click the garbage can. Cat goes away. Background. Okay. So go to background. Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. You can make your own version of this game. It's totally up to you what type of scene you want to use. I'm going to look for something that I can use with a car. So let's see if there's something I can use with a car. You could use this for a car if you'd like. Okay. So now I'm in my city background and I'm going to draw in. I want to draw in some of the lines here. So when I went over here, I went to drawing. And if I go here to the, pa the paint bucket, and then I'm going to click on my city here. Okay. Now you could draw with this, or you could draw with this, and you pick the color that you like, which you want more yellow or less yellow. You see how it changes? So you pick the color that you like, and you can maybe go like this way if you want as well. And I'm going to draw in some parking spots. So I got a parking spot over here. I got a parking spot over here. Okay, so I've got a parking spot over there. I got one spot here, I got one spot here, and even though this is a little bit up a little bit, I could draw another spot over here. And I draw another spot over here. Okay, so now I got my parking spots in here. Now I have to add cars in. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go to the little magnifying glass and I'm gonna go and I search for a car. And uh, let's let's use a food truck. Okay, so we got a food truck. The food truck's too big, so we're gonna make the food truck. Maybe we'll make it 20. Let's see how 20 goes. Okay, we take a food truck and we're gonna put the food truck here. Okay, yeah, because somebody's gonna be parked there. Then we're gonna go over here again. We'll search. We'll put in a car. And we'll put in a truck. Okay, let's try 20 again. Size 20. Car's gonna. Let's make that one a little bigger. Let's make it 30. Okay, so now you got a car there. And then let's put another car here. Search. Search again for a car. And you don't have to do it exactly like me. You could uh, come up with your own thing. Let's use um, let's use city bus. Okay, and let's make this, let's make this 25. Now we got our bus in here. Okay, so, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put something in here. That's the target. So let's make this, let's put in an apple in there. Okay, so we're going to put our apple in here, and we'll make our apple nice and small. Let's make our apple, let's make it 20. Okay, so now you got an apple in here. Actually, you know, we'll make it a little bigger. Let's make it 30. Okay, and we'll put it right in the center here. So, we have four parking spots, one, two, three, four. Three of them have cars, and, and one has the apple. So you want the apple to be the one that you get. So let's add another one, and then you're going to pick the car that you want to be car and we'll use convertible okay now we have our convertible here let's make it a little bit smaller to make the game work so let's make it 20 so you notice i'm making all of them 20 uh, maybe a little bigger let's make it 40 let's try 40 and 50 let's try let's try 50 okay so now we have our cars here and now we have to control the game so we want to make it that you cannot go into these cars but that the game wins when you go into the apple Okay, so let's see how to do that. So now we're going to make, sh make sure you're on the convertible because he's the one you have to control. Events, when clicked. Okay, so make sure you're on the convertible because he's the only one that's going to have code. When clicked, motion, go to. Now, where do you want him to go to? We want him to start the game up here, which is negative 182, 152. You say negative, negative 182. 152. Okay. And then we're going to say, now here we have to control him, right? We're going to say forever loop. Forever loop. Forever. And then we do if then. So what do we want to happen? We want him to move. We're going to have him move 10 steps. When do you want him to move 10 steps? You go to sensing. Okay. Go to sensing. And you're going to say if the right key is pressed. So you see, I drag this in. OK, 
Okay, so now we say if the right key is pressed, the right key is pressed, he's gonna move 10 steps. So let's click the flag. Now when I click the right key, he goes 10 steps. Okay, looks good so far, right? Good, now we have to make him go, um, now we have to make him go up, that he can make an up turn, or he can go down, or he can go to the left. So let's do this. Let's go to the side here, events, when clicked, and we're gonna do almost the same thing. We're gonna do control, forever, and we're gonna do if, if then, if, and we're gonna do sensing, if the left key is pressed. Now, if what are we gonna do when the left key is pressed? We want them to go negative 10, because that's gonna to be to the left. Move negative 10. Okay, so now let's look. Now we click the flag. He starts here, and I can go to the right, and I can go backwards. Okay, so now we got right and back. That's good, right? Now what we have to do next is we have to make him turn. We want to make the game turn that it makes him more reliable. Okay, so now we have uh, control. I'm sorry, events. When clicked. Okay, when clicked. Again, forever. Now here's what you could do too. You could um, copy this. Uh, I'll show you that um, as well. If you want to copy this, if you do right click and you do duplicate, you could copy it. You see how I copied it? I do right click, duplicate, and copy it. Now I have it set up. I can go to my control again. If then, if then, if then. And what do we want them to do? If, we're going to go to our sensing and our keys. And we're going to say if the up arrow is pressed. And then here we do if the down arrow is pressed. Okay, so we have the up arrow and the down arrow. And what's gonna happen? Well, when he does the up arrow, we want him to turn. We want him to turn right. And when the down arrow is pressed, you want him to turn left. Actually, you know, let's switch that. Let's make it that when he goes down, he goes to the right and up will be to the left. I think that would be a little smoother. So now let's look, when we play, he can go right, he can go left. When the up arrow is pressed, he turns, and when the down arrow is pressed, he turns. So now we could turn with the up and down, and we can go left and right, okay? So, so far, now we got him under control that he could drive, but now we want him to, we want him to something to happen that he can't park in those spots, right? So now what we're gonna do is, you could zoom out a little bit if you want more space over here. And now what we want him to do is we want him that when he tries to get into the these ones over here, he can't do it. We want to make it that this blocks him when he goes into here. So let's do this now. We're going to do events, when clicked, events, when clicked, and we're going to do if then. So these are all conditionals. These are conditionals. Then we're going to do forever loop. So forever loop, and if then is a conditional. So conditional if then means if one thing happens, then you do this, right? If the phone rings, then pick it up. There's a condition. You don't pick up the phone unless it rings. If the phone rings, pick it up. So here's our conditional. Now, what do we want it to be? We want it to be that he cannot go past this truck. So we're gonna say, if sensing, touching, touching what, the, the truck, the ice cream truck, the scratch truck, the food truck, what's he gonna do? He's going to move backwards 10 steps. So make this negative 10, okay? So let's try it again. So now he goes here with the flag. Now I can move him, right? I can move him up and down. And I can move, 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 move. And I can go like, like this. And now watch what happens when I go into the truck. Oh, he gets stuck. He gets stuck. Why? Because the code says if you're touching the food truck, move negative 10 steps. Now we're going to do this. Watch this. I do right click and I do duplicate. And what am I going to do? I'm going to take this. Oh, we have to have our forever loop in there. I'm gonna take our forever loop. This didn't copy the whole thing, let me, let me do it again. Do right click, duplicate, and now watch this. If touching food truck, I'm gonna change this to if touching truck. And now he has, if he touches the food truck, he moves negative 10. If he touches this truck, he moves negative 10. Let's take a look. So now I go down. Oh, I can't go any further. Let me try and go to this one. Oh, can't go any further. Okay, so those two work. Then we do right click, right click, duplicate. And then we're going to go to over here, and if he's touching the scratch tourist truck, and that's going to be the city bus. So 
Now what do we want to do with the city bus? Same thing. Now when he goes, he goes down and we go up. Oh, let's see if I can. Oh, he's stuck. The last part of the game we need to do is we needed that he's got to get to the apple and it's going to win. So watch what we're going to do. We do right click and we duplicate and we put this over here. And if touching, if touching apple, what do you want to do if he's the apple? You don't want it to move negative 10 steps. You want him to say you win. So now he's going to say you win. Say you win. Okay, so let's take a look at this again here. Let's take a look. Okay, we're gonna move this over this way so everybody could see all of our code. Oh, so let me move this back a little bit so everybody could see. Okay, so now let me make this bigger too so you can see more of the code. Okay, we'll zoom this in a little bit. Okay, so now we have our game and we have all of our code in our game. So let's look at some of our code again before we play it one last time. So down here we have the control of, of the code, right? So, when click, when the, when the flag is clicked, he's going to go to here, and when the right arrow is pressed, he moves 10 steps. When the flag's clicked, forever, he's in the loop. If the up arrow is pressed, he does a little turn. Forever loop, if the down arrow is pressed, he does a turn to the right. And if the left arrow is pressed, he moves negative 10, which is going to be to the left, okay? Then he has conditional, if then, if touching the apple, say you win. A conditional, if then, if touching the city bus, he has to move negative 10 steps. If he's touching the truck, he moves negative 10 steps. And if he's touching the food truck, he moves negative 10. So let's play our game now. So now I'm up here, it starts here. I go down, right? And let's see if I can go in. Oh, I got stuck. I got stuck at that. And I go down this way. Let's see if I can go in. You win, okay? So when you're finished with your game, please take a picture of your code so that I can grade your, your, your activity, okay? So please make sure you take a picture of your code like this and your background. That way I could look to see if you did the code right. Take one good picture of this screen, please. These, these other ones don't have code, right? So don't take a picture of these, they have no code. Only take a picture of the car that controls the game. This, this car over here, this is, the only game, this is the only part of the game that has code. So set it up, put your code in, and then take a photo, and then I could give you a grade on uh, Google Classroom. And uh, you can also do file save now when you're done over here. So file save now when you're done and make sure you call it car parking at the top.